when it comes to that. For wells, um, it is a big deal because the, the calcium carbonate scaling uh, can create plugging in the wells and, and plug things up over time and degrade well performance. So we want to pay attention to that. All right, so interpreting the LSI, um, if the actual pH of the water is below the calculated uh, uh, pHs, uh, PHS, um, saturated pH, then the LSI is negative, and that indicates the water will dissolve calcium carbonate and that it will be corrosive, particularly if dissolved oxygen is present. Now, when we talk about uh, the water's uh, and sometimes you'll hear the term aggressive, that if the LSI is negative, that the water is aggressive. Uh, and what that means really in, is not necessarily corrosion per se, but the fact that you don't have um, a protective coating. And people consider the, the calcium carbonate uh, a little sheen of that on there to be protective of the bare steel. Um, they, you're not going to get that if your LSI is is uh, significantly negative. So, so that's that's really what where the corrosion comes in. It's 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 aggressive. Um, it means you're not getting calcium carbonate precipitating out and protecting the bare steel. So, so negative LSI means you're undersaturated in calcium carbonate. So the water will dissolve the calcium carbonate, and you will not get calcium carbonate deposition in your well. Um, if the actual pH of the water is higher than the calculated uh, um, uh, PHS, uh, uh, the LSI is positive, indicating that calcium carbonate incrustations um, scaling will occur. So your water is oversaturated with, with uh, calcium carbonate, so it will start to precipitate out, and this is where you can develop significant mineral incrustations that can create plugging in the wells. 